My name is Pete. I work for Kinnick Incorporated and we provide top performing utility grade surge protection products to utilities across the country. Today's presentation, we're going to talk a little bit about surges, what causes surges. We're going to talk about the meter based surge protector and how well it protects homes from transient surge damage or surge damage as most people call it. And then we're going to do a demonstration to prove how well the meter based surge protector actually works. If we want to picture a surge, a lot of people think of surges and they think about this big wave coming in. From an electrical standpoint, a surge that could come into a home from a storm, a car versus pole, or other weather events, it's a brief blip, it's a brief spike, kind of like a big bee sting. Can it cause damage? Oh yes, it can damage your appliances and sensitive electronics. The meter based surge protector installs outside, directly behind the meter. And what, what they do if you sign up for the program, they come out, they pull the meter, they plug the meter based surge protector in, then they plug the meter back in. Once it's installed, you have 24-7, 365 protection of your home from a large surge that might try to enter via the power lines. It installs outside and it deals with the surge outside before it can enter your home. Why is this important? If you picture a surge as being 10 feet tall, and obviously this isn't 10 feet, but this is a visual for this video, the meter based surge protector will capture that and it will send it to earth ground, leaving a surge only about this big coming into the home. You will have customers come back and say, well, I have a hard wire surge protector at my electrical panel. That is good. We recommend that you keep that. However, depending on where that electrical panel is, it could be farther inside your home and so that large surge has to find the panel and go skidding around within the panel before that hard wire surge protector can take effect. You will have customers that come back and say, I have plug-in surge protectors, I don't need the meter based surge protector. Well, I think by now, if you remember the surge being that big, I don't think I would want a surge that big coming through my home trying to find the plug-in surge protectors. Again, the meter based arrestor installs outside, deals with the surge outside, before it can come in. Our demonstration today makes use of two meter enclosures. One on the left has a meter based surge protector protecting a light bulb. The one on the right has no meter based surge protector. We're charging the unit up and when it gets to its trigger voltage we will be sending a surge to both the left hand and the right side meter enclosures in this demonstration. If everything goes well the, the light bulb on the left will be protected by the meter based surge protector and the light bulb on the right will be blown to smithereens or go kaflui if using engineering terms. We are charging the device up. We're getting ready to do a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. It appears that the light bulb on the right has departed. It appears that the light bulb on the left is working. I can instruct my cameraman to get ready to do a tilt. We will demonstrate whether or not, the, I will do the one over here if I may, follow the bouncing ball. Ta-da! These light bulbs could have been your large screen TV, your appliances, your computer, your phone, your tablets, all sorts of other sensitive electronics in the home. The meter based surge protector installed behind the meter deals with the surge outside before it can come in and cause damage within the home. This is important to a utility based surge protection program. This is why we make this product for our utilities. 